Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Quick Brook Games where we cover everything LEGO gaming and in this video we're continuing the every character series on this channel where we're going through every single character in all the LEGO games in release order. So, so far we've done LEGO Star Wars 1, the video game from 2005, then we did LEGO Star Wars 2, the original trilogy from 06, and then we did the complete saga from 07, and now we're doing Indiana Jones from 08. So this game was actually teased in the complete saga game. You could unlock Indiana Jones as a playable character. It was kind of a nod to Harrison Ford playing both Han Solo and Indiana Jones in these movies. And this is the first Indiana Jones game. This movie just, or this game just covers the first three movies. Then there's also a second Indiana Jones game which covered the fourth movie as well, which was pretty cool. So yeah, we're just gonna go through all the characters, kind of see how the character roster looks like, and then we'll be able to compare it to the second game and things like that. And yeah, it's just kind of fun to see the character rosters of all the LEGO games to see kind of how it expands and things like that. So I'm not as familiar with the Indiana Jones franchise, like I've only seen bits and pieces of the movies. And it's been a while since I played this game, so I don't, I'm not super familiar with all the characters, but we're going to go through them anyway, and uh, you guys can maybe let me know about them and things like that. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to go into free play to pull up the character roster, and here it is. So I believe there's 83 playable characters in this game. Uh, 85 if you count the two, like create your own character, but we're not really going to count those. But yeah, we're just going to go through this whole list here, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with Indiana Jones, the title character, right there he is. Then on the right, uh, he's my player too, so I can't actually scroll over him, but that's Satipo, I believe is how you pronounce his name. And I believe he has like a shovel ability, and Indiana Jones has like a whip ability, which he can use to kind of like grapple across areas, similar to the grapple hook in like the Lego Star Wars games. And he can do a few other things, he's like afraid of snakes and things like that, so that's always cool. Then we have Jock, I believe he has like a wrench that can repair things if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've played this game. But uh, then we have Marion, who is uh, kind of a character that can jump high, I believe. I believe the female characters can jump high for whatever reason, that's like a thing that's been in like most of the LEGO games, at least the older ones. So we have, we have Indiana Jones Desert version, and there he looks very similar except he doesn't have his like brown leather jacket on. Here we have Marion Cairo version. So there he is, she has her hair down. We have Sala Desert Version. So we actually have the Desert Version of Sala before we just get the plain old Sala, so that's kind of interesting. We have Marion Evening Dress Versions, which looks very similar to the Cairo version. Uh, we have Indiana Jones Army Disguise. I like his like little textured beard there on his face. I guess he's got that in all his versions, but that's pretty cool. And so he's dressed up like an army man. We have Marion Nightgown version. So we have the evening dress and then we have nightgown. That's that's interesting. We have Indiana Jones dinner suit version. I believe this was from the first level of the second movie called Temple of Doom. And I think he like gets poisoned there. I remember that level. Uh, we have Willie. I believe she has the ability to like scream really loud and like break glass and things like that, which I think is pretty funny. <laughs> they carried that ability through like I think the Jurassic Park games as well, or Lego Jurassic World, I guess is the actual name. And I think she can jump high as well just because she's a female character. Here we have Short Round, and he can fit through small spaces similar to like the boy version of Anakin Skywalker in the Lego Star Wars games. And he looks very similar to Jock if you really think about it, like they both have the like kind of blue hats, I guess Short Round has more of a white hat. but. It still has like a blue bill on it, and they both look like small characters. I can't remember if Jock is a small character or not. Maybe not. But yeah, those characters look very similar. Obviously, Short Round looks younger because he's a kid. But here we have uh, Willie evening dress version. So we have an evening dress version of Willie and Marion uh, over here. So that's that's interesting. So here we have Indiana Jones Cali version, which looks very similar to the desert version. Uh, we have Willie ceremony version. We have Indiana Jones professor. So that's when he's actually a professor at Barnett College. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a different outfit. He's got his glasses on, things like that. So very cool. We have Elsa. Yeah, we have. I believe she has like a book ability where she can like decipher like puzzles and things like that, if I remember correctly. Again, it's been a while since I've played this game. We have Brody, who just looks like a very generic old man, sort of. <laughs> we have Henry Jones, who is the father of Indiana Jones. I believe he was in the Last Crusade movie. And uh, he was played by the James Bond actor. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Someone tell me in the comments. But yeah, he's played by James Bond. Uh, we have Sala Fez version. He's got the red hat. We have young Indiana Jones, young Indy. Uh, we have Boy Scout. <laughs> Looks very generic. Look at that, man. There's like no interesting features on his face. It's very generic. You see a lot of that in the older LEGO games before the LEGOs got more complex. We have Hovidos Tribesman. I believe is how you pronounce that. He has the same hairstyle as Anakin did in the early LEGO Star Wars games. We have Barranca, I believe is how you pronounce that name. I might have said that wrong. He again looks very generic. He's got like a white cowboy hat. But other than that, there's not too much detail on him. We have Belloc Jungle version. We have Jungle Guide. We have Major Tote or Tot, I guess it's Tote. 
And uh, he just looks like a bad guy, doesn't he? <laughs> but uh, here we have Colonel Dietrich. And so there we go. He looks like kind of a generic. He looks very similar to Indiana Jones Army Disguise. And again, I don't, I'm not totally sure who all these characters are. I haven't seen the movies in a while. Uh, we have Enemy Guard Mountains version. So just straight up Enemy Guard. This, not, a, not anything specific. We have Bazooka Trooper in the Raiders of the Lost Ark version. Those guys have bazookas. And again, they kind of have a generic looking face. We have the Sherpa Brawler. We have the Sherpa Gunner. We have the Mask Bandit. So a lot of these are the generic enemies that you fight throughout the levels. And the Mask Bandit looks cool. I always like that kind of like mask um, Lego headpiece. I don't know if they use that too much on the newer, newer Lego minifigures. I'd, I'd have to see. Uh, we have the Bandit Swordsman. I believe you had to like fight these guys with a sword. Like you had to, I think a new feature of this game was you, was you could actually pick up swords and items. That was pretty cool. I think you had to use that against the bandit swordsman, if I remember correctly. Once again, we have the enemy soldier desert version. Just a random enemy soldier. We have enemy officer. Like I like how they don't have a specific name. They're just enemy. <laughs> we have monkey man, uh, who looks kind of like a pirate. Maybe that was foreshadowing pirates, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. No, just kidding. <laughs> we have Indiana Jones desert disguise. Which looks very similar to, uh, well, who was it, Dengar from the LEGO Star Wars games? He's got the same uh, uh, mask uh, headpiece there, so that's interesting. We have Belloc, regular version. We have Enemy Officer, desert version. We have Bandit. And wow, the Bandit looks very similar to, what was this, the Masked Bandit? So we have the Masked Bandit and then just the Bandit. But both of them have a mask on, so that's very weird. Why, why don't they just call that one the Black Masked Bandit and this one the White Masked Bandit? I'm not sure. Very bizarre. We have Enemy Boxer. I remember him being a boss in the game. We have Captain Katanga, who again looks generic. I'm going to be saying that a lot for a lot of these LEGO minifigures. We have the First Mate, another pirate-like character. We have Balak Robes version. We have the Enemy Guard, just straight up Enemy Guard. We have Kao Khan. We have Wuhan. We have Lao Chi. I believe these characters are from the second movie, if I remember. Uh, we got Chin, who looks... Kind of similar to Alfred almost in the Batman games. We have Dancing Girl. It looks like she belongs in a carnival. I'm not sure if she has any special abilities or not. We have Maharaja, I guess is how you pronounce that. Uh, I think he is from the second movie. We have the Pankot Assassin. We have the Pankot Guard. We have the Village Elder. Look at that hairpiece. Like how many Lego minifigures use that hairpiece? That's very interesting. It's like an old man. It's like not growing on the top, but only growing in the back. <laughs> That's very funny. Village Elder there. We have the Village Dignitary. We got Willy Dinner Suit. We have Willy Pajamas. So interesting how they have Willy like on the top row there. Then there's like two more versions of Willy down here. I'm guessing maybe the top row is the ones that you unlock through the story mode. And these are the ones you have to like buy from the shop at Barnett College. Uh, we have Chatter Lol. Or Lol. We have Chatter Lol Thuggy version. We have Thuggy Acolyte. We have just plain up. We have just straight up Thuggy. We got Slave Child. We got Thuggy Slave Driver. A lot of these characters are just the generic enemies that you fight throughout the Temple of Doom movie levels. We got Mola Ram, who was the boss of the Temple of Doom. We have British Officer. We have British Soldier. We have British Commander. We got Kazim, Enemy Butler. And wow, he looks a lot like Alfred too. Like, wait, let me see. This character, the Chin character, and... The enemy butler look kind of similar. I guess the butler has more like wrinkles on his face and he looks a lot like Alfred in the Lego Batman games. Like he's got the same hairstyle. Like what's like do all butlers have to have like be bald like that and like have that same kind of little bit of hair on the sides? <laughs> I don't know. But let's go ahead and continue. We have enemy radio operator. I like that kind of uh, headphone piece. I don't think you see that too often on Lego minifigures. We got Bazooka Trooper Crusade version. Uh, we got... In Indiana Jones officer version again. He's in another disguise. We have Elsa officer version in a disguise. We got Colonel Vogel We have enemy pilot and he's got that same headpiece as the Anakin boy version from Lego Star Wars Out of the pilot uh, hat there. So that's cool. We have Kazim a desert version. We have Elsa desert version We have Donovan who again looks generic like just a regular old old man <laughs> Lego we have the Grail Knight he's actually a cool unique looking figure we have Fedora and who is Fedora he looks a lot like Indiana Jones I'm not sure who that character is someone let me know in the uh, comments below who that character is and like what movie they appear in and all that because it looks like an Indiana Jones clone to me oh and then we have Han Solo at the end so that's kind of a reference to the complete saga where you had Indiana Jones is a playable character and now in Lego Indiana Jones the original adventures we have Han Solo from Star Wars 
as a playable character because they're both Harrison Ford. Then we have the two stranger like create your own characters. But yeah, overall this is 83 characters in Lego Indiana Jones The Original Adventures. Now I say 83 characters but they're not all really unique characters because a lot of them just have different outfits and things like that. Like how many different versions of Marion were there? There was a lot of different versions of Willy, a lot of different versions of Indiana Jones obviously. Uh, so hopefully in like future games like they just kind of combine them into one character slot and You can kind of choose they kind of did that in the later Lego games So maybe if they ever create a new Lego Indiana Jones, we'll see that that would be great Hopefully we get a remaster of the of the first two games maybe or maybe just a, a brand new remake of all the movies So that would be pretty cool after the fifth movie comes out whenever that's coming out now but Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. So that's every character in Lego Indiana Jones the original adventures uh, be sure to subscribe to be notified when the next one comes out. We're going to be continuing on with Lego Batman, the video game from 2008 as well. That came out later in 2008. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty fun series. Let me know what you thought of all the characters in this game. Are there any significant characters from the Indiana Jones movies, the first three that you think were missing in this game? Let me know if you're like a hardcore Indiana Jones fan. Obviously, I'm not. I've just kind of seen bits and pieces of the movies. Uh, yeah, I'd like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. And yeah, again, subscribe for all sorts of LEGO gaming content. We're doing LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga later this year and just lots of good stuff. So subscribe for all that, comment, and I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.